Hello, I'm Coco and welcome to my channel, The Indigo Experience, where I spill all the tea on the latest in beauty and lifestyle. I've been wearing my natural hair out a lot lately and I get a lot of compliments on my hair. People come up to me asking me questions like, is that a wash and go or a twist up? And how long we making these curls last? Today, you're in luck because I'm gonna show you exactly how I get the perfect braid out every single time. So I like to start with damp hair for less shrinkage. If my hair is too wet, it takes too long to dry. I'm using Afro G Pro Vitamin Leave-In Conditioner Spray to give my hair some TLC, some moisture, some shine before I start manipulating my hair. Next, I section my hair gently with my fingers. I prefer not to define my parts so the sections will blend together easily for the final look at the end. I love this wide flow detangler brush I got from Amazon. I'll post the link in the description box below. Then I'm gonna clip each section out of the way. This is how we tame all of this hair. Notice when I'm brushing my hair, how I start at the ends and I'm working my way up to the roots. Less breakage, if you know, you know. The back dried up while I detangled the front. So I'm gonna spray more leave-in before I go in with the detangler brush from ends to roots and clipping it up and out of the way so I can see what I am doing. I'm going in with Aunt Jackie's Curl La La Defining Curl Custard. You can choose a hydrating curl cream or a lotion that works for your hair texture. Today, this is what I'm working with. I'm making sure to get it in evenly throughout my hair before parting it into eight sections. Then I take two pumps of Lotta Body Wrap Me Foaming Mousse for definition and a good hold. I love this foam because it leaves my hair smooth with a healthy shine, leaves no product buildup, and my hair is still soft with a lot of body at the end. You get it? A lot of body. Now it's time to braid each section into large plaits, stopping at the last few inches at the bottom of each braid. I prefer large plaits for an elongated wavy effect. I like a crimped look, if that makes sense. I'm going for curly ends that are unified in shape, so I chose to ride the ends with gray perm rods. And then I repeat the process with the rest of the sections around my head, making sure to take my time to braid neatly. I like to place the rod where I want the curl to start and then twist and wrap the ends around the rod, tucking the loose ends before securing it. Then I just repeat the process all over my head until I have about eight plaits. As you can see, my parts are uneven, but my sections are the same size. This is how we get an even curl pattern, guys. I sat under my hooded dryer for about an hour and a half on medium heat, then 10 minutes on cool to set my hair. My hair has to be completely dry for this to work. My favorite hair oil to use right now is Ohine Hair Oil from Indigo Beauty. Its natural ingredients include rose oil that is known to help strengthen hair follicles, moisturize, and nourish the hair and scalp. It smells amazing and it's lightweight, so there's no greasy residue weighing my hair down. Check out the description box for the link. I also rub it all over my palms before taking out the rods and unraveling the braids for less frizz. I never skip this step because it always leaves my hair soft and easy to style. I like to take my time unraveling the strands piece by piece to avoid pulling my hair and tangling the ends. I've had so many times I put in all the good products and took the time to put in all this work only to rush through the takedown and end up with poofy ends and no definition. So trust me on this one. Please take your time. I actually got really excited right here because the front and the back was already looking good and I haven't even styled it yet. I like to take my time unraveling the strands one piece at a time, carefully separating the hair from each plait for more volume. I like to just play around with it, tousle it around a little bit to see which side I want my part on, if I want my bang a little more flat. 
flat or a little more volume, I'll just flip it to the opposite side. I also like to shape my roots out to camouflage the parts a little bit better. I like to use Edge Fixer by Kiss and a brush to lay my edges. This is one of my favorite edge controls to use simply because the hold is strong and the grape scent smells amazing. And that's it. If you tried this braid out method, let me know how it turned out in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating it.